Hello and welcome to the Straight Shot channel. And today I'm testing the smallest wood burner in the world. This is not a review, this is a test video because this is not the new product. This is the old product. And the quick story behind that I bought this wood burner about a year ago, but I chose the wrong size. And I was going for the large one, but because I chose the wrong size, which is small, so they sent me a small size. And I decided that I'm not going to use it because it's too small for me. So this wood burner was sitting in my office for over a year on the shelf. And now I decided, you know what, why not to try it? And today I want to find out, can I cook my food on this small wood burner? And how quick I can cook my food? And what I'm going to use today to cook my food, it's another story behind. This is <laughs> the smallest cast iron skillet in the world. It's made by company Lodge. This is the American company. And uh, the story is that my missus, Mrs. Strayshot, she decided to get me a present. And the present was the cast iron skillet. And she decided to buy me a small one because she knew that I'm going to use somewhere in an outdoor environment on my hiking or camping trips. But she didn't expect that it's going to be that small. I believe that's a 12 centimeter size. And I was planning to send it back because it's too small for me and uh, I'm not going to use it. But my missus, she decided that she wants to keep it as a kitchen decoration. So this cast iron skillet now is hers, not mine. But today I'm still, I'm going to use it. A smallest wood burner in the world with the smallest cast iron skillet. And this is how I'm planning to put my firewood inside there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some small twigs inside first. Then on the top, I want to put my cotton and Vaseline fire starter. And then on the top, I want to put some more twigs. The burner is very small, so you cannot put a long uh, firewood long twigs inside so you have to kind of manage the size and we will see how it's gonna go it is very very windy outside and it's very noisy as well because all my neighbors Currently, they are outside playing with them kids in the in the garden. So sorry for the for the noise. If you want to see how I'm making these fire start with the cotton and the, and the Vaseline, I will link the video below in the description. Oh, that should work. Also, I will start a uh, time a stopwatch to check how long it will take for me actually to cook some food. And we just started our fire and uh, we have uh, 1 minute and 17 seconds. And the fire is burning very, very quick. Not the fire, but the firewood because it's so dry. It's like a gunpowder. So I will have to add a little bit more. And the first firewood, it just burned in about uh, five minutes. So I add a little bit more because I don't want actual fire. I just need the heat. So I'm probably gonna wait till this firewood is gonna burn and then I'm gonna put my, my cast iron pan on a, on this wood burner and then we will try to cook some egg the second load of the firewood is gone so what I'm gonna do now 
I'm gonna put my pan look it's a perfect size this is a perfect size and I will add a little bit of oil and I'm using a garlic flavor olive oil oh that's gonna be nice a little bit more oh that's gonna be very very nice and now I'm gonna wait till the cast iron skillet will get hot enough for me to put the egg inside and cook and this is what I want to know I want to know how long it will take I will probably add maybe a little bit of firewood as well just a little bit not too much because I don't need that flame I just need to keep that heat going but not the flame I don't really want too much flame and now we have uh, almost 10 minutes so I would say that is not bad at all if I can cook my food in a I would say half an hour I'm more than happy because when you're tired when you've been working for it all day long you're tired you don't really want to waste too much time or cooking your food so we just want to eat and go to rest so that's my target and this is what I want to find out with this uh, wood burner let me try to put the egg inside because I think that the oil it's already hot enough Oh wow, that is very hot. So I'm gonna use two eggs. Let me put a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Wow, that's gonna be very, very tasty. After 15 minutes to cook my food so I'm very happy and I'm very pleased and I will say that is not bad at all but don't forget that because I was using small cast iron skillet that's why I managed to cook my food so quick I would say that I should try to use the the uh, bigger pan because uh, I have three different sizes so this is the smallest one so I have medium and I have a large one so I would say that I will make maybe another video and I'm gonna use uh, the medium size of cast iron skillet and we will see how this wood burner is gonna perform let me try it my egg mmm wow very nice the garlic flavor olive oil is the best in the world mm. very nice okay I must admit I was wrong this small wood burner is not that bad if I manage to cook my food from the start till the end in a 15 minutes I'm happy of course it was just the egg yeah it's very quick to cook egg but it's still I was really very happy and pleased so I would recommend to get one this is not sponsored video I paid my own money for this stove but still I would recommend to get one 
and I will leave a link below in the description if you want to check and I would recommend to get for your short trips because I would say that if you go for the long trip you should get the bigger one because also you could use this as a heating system to warm up and uh, if or to dry out your clothes and uh, I don't think so that it would be enough to use this small stove but to cook food it's more than enough it's more than enough so as always thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video you all take care